this is a deal that we're looking at in partnership with somebody and I'm going to get started actually I think we've got enough people on the line it's a deal that we have in Johannesburg um, in the chat group just write down if I go too fast I do talk a bit fast I get a bit excited around these kind of things it's an earn and learn opportunity this is something for the investors who join us um, it's got a benefit of giving you the ability to learn and actually watch what we're doing through the entire process. We've got three people, three current investors already doing it with us. I wonder if any of them are on the line tonight. I do not see them on the line tonight. No, we've got none of our current investors on the line tonight, but they're already investing with us and already owning as, or learning as they go. And the big thing that I really like about this is that it's actually adding to our solution in this country. And it's not, to, it's not adding to the problem, which I really, really like. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. So first of all, um, are you in the wrong place? So you are definitely in the wrong place if you're only interested in how much money you can make. If that is your primary driver around this, I can tell you right now, it's not something we go for in Zeta Homes. It's not only about the money. You've got to find the happiness in life and what you're contributing in life. Um, you have no desire to learn. If you've got no desire to learn, I, it's not, no point. Literally, guys, you're, you're in the wrong place. Um, you don't care what your money is being used for, um, and you can't handle change and uncertainty. The last one is key and critical. We can ask any of the investors who have enjoyed us or joined us so far. The life of an investor is up and down. Um, there's going to be swings and roundabouts. Our ability to adapt and pivot is what makes us investors, not our ability to get everything right in the first place. And if you join us, you'll see that. Okay, so how do you know if you're in the right place? If that's the wrong place, what's the right place? Okay, you would like to contribute where you can, and you want to be part of the solution for this country. Uh, you want to learn. You want to learn how to invest. You want to learn how to borrow money so you can take away and, and afford more than you can at a typical bank. Um, normally, when you go there, you've got this 30% ruling. This isn't that kind of scenario. We're going to show you how to do that if you join us on this deal. You can learn how to rezone. You can learn how to successfully run a deal of this magnitude. This is a very large deal. It's a 17 million rand deal. Um, and you want to earn interest in your cash, of course. I'm not saying it's not the only um, reason to come here for learning. You can also earn money as you go. That's why it's called our earn and learn. Um, and you know, your greatest strength is not knowing everything, but trusting that together we can figure it out. And that's what it's about. We're looking for people who can come and join us in the partnership as our current investors do and go, I don't quite know how to do this, but I'll come up with this idea. And they're actually learning as they go. Okay, so we've got a whole packed in uh, presentation tonight. We will share this presentation with everybody else afterwards. Let me bring this microphone in closer. Apparently someone can't hear me. Um, there's an investor offers, executive summary. I'm not going to go through the whole contents. When you get the slide, you can go through it. Turn my oh, lights on. Is that better? Is that helping somebody out? Yes, it is. Cool. I'm getting WhatsApp at the same time saying, turn your lights on, turn your microphone on. Okay. Overview of what an earn and learn is, first of all. So when we bring you along one of these earn and learns, we include you basically in everything. You're going to feel like you're part of the deal. You're going to be included on emails. You're going to be included in those emails that when you can see it doesn't go so right. We've got a prime example now where it's not going so right with the conveyance and how we correct those actions. We've got a WhatsApp group specifically set up for the actual deal where we'll get everybody on board and you'll see messages fly back and forth, um, problem solving, progressing, documents, getting documents. There'll be a plethora of documents to get. Um, we're going to introduce you to most of our power team members involved in the deal, um, including access to myself, Jack, and partners. There'll be on-site visits for those who can actually get up to Johannesburg, walk around, see how it's actually been in progress, you know, hands in the ground, hands in the mud. And that's that's great to see how these things progress and how they reach stumbling blocks. We're going to take you to the templates and tools that we use. Um, so the likes of Lightstone and TPN, as well as our analysis documents. Um, it's You may need a master's degree to look at it first of all, but I guarantee you, once you've looked at it a few times and explained it to you, it'll make complete sense. We look at our OTPs, how do we secure this deal, the loan agreement templates, how the deal was found, how it was put together. Um, and it's going to come with a coaching package as well. So that's for you with myself and Jacques. Um, and it's going to be six pre-scheduled, 30 to 45 minute group coaching sessions where everyone's going to jump on board and we're going to talk about this deal. You know, we're going to walk it through. How do we do this? How do we take our OTP? How do we manipulate it? Everything is around how we're coaching for the specific deal. Um, and so this will be scheduled. Everyone can jump on board. We expect multiple investors with this. And we'll actually get you trained up on that in these coaching sessions where you can ask more precise questions than what you could over a WhatsApp. 
Uh, and the other one is the potential to become a partner in, in our future deals with ZA Homes. So, for example, both um, Bloemfontein and, um, uh, sorry, um, PE, um, they invested with us, first of all, before actually becoming partners. And they now run PE Homes and Bloom Homes. And we like to do that because we want to see how we work together. Um, investing for angel investing is a, is a short-term kind of investment, uh, whereas when you go a partnership, it's for life. And our partnerships is where we really start to buy properties in um, and buying property in, in a company or a trust is a lifelong investment. So you have the potential to become a partner in the future um, and preferential interest rates. It's at 10%. Um, but again, I put that at the bottom because that isn't real prize. Real prize is the education that you're going to get out of this, the involvement with Tuff, the involvement with us to actually come to this deal. That is the real prize here. But even 10%, you take it to a bank and if you can name a bank that's going to give you 10% on 100,000 rand, let me know, please. It would be great to go and actually take your money and put it in there. Um, next one. Okay, who is our core team? So we've got myself and Jacques. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole spiel of who we are. You guys can read it there. From my own perspective, I've been investing since 2006. Um, I'm a speaker at the Property Academy. I also coach the Property Academy. I speak at um, SAPN events and their masterminds. Um, I've got property in South Africa. I've got property abroad. Um, she's, uh, I mean, I could go on about myself, but it's not really why you guys are here. Same goes for Jacques. Jacques is my partner in Zeta Homes. He is the brains behind a lot of this. Um, he's an entrepreneur. He's an IT consultant. He owns multiple businesses. He invests nationally with myself now. He's got a BCom in accounting and science from the University of Pretoria. Uh, he cycles from Johannesburg to Cape Town once a year, literally on a bike over 10 or 14 days. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, that is basically around us. And I'm telling you that not to impress you, but to impress upon you that we've got the knowledge within ZA Homes, let alone the people we're partnering with on this specific deal. In addition to that, like I said, we've got uh, four partnerships across the country. We've got Heinrich and Melissa there, as you can see, uh, based up in Bloemfontein. We're doing a second Airbnb in Bloemfontein at the moment. Uh, one was bought an installment sale agreement, which is in final stages. We got Tamron and Neil down in Cape Town. We got Nick in Port Elizabeth, and recently now Ralph has joined us in Johannesburg to start taking up on the West Rand of Johannesburg, specifically around the Krugersdorp area. And again, we're buying property with this team. Our power team of people we actually deal with. So Bruno Samar from um, Samar Brokery, our Samar Attorneys handles the majority of our conveyancing. Christian Janssen from At Three Thin Sixty handles the majority of our financing. Yaku Krobla is our accountant for all of our entities. And anytime we do need a property inspection done, Ms. Marisha Robus comes on board to have a look at that. That's part of our power team. There are more, of course. Um, this is for specific to Zeta Homes and the people that we rely on. Yeah, the opportunity overview. So this is getting into the meats and the bones of it now. The opportunity is to buy, develop, and hold. It's a single story, three and a half thousand square meter commercial block that is currently being or currently was used as a mall. And what I really like about this is we're actually taking commercial, which in those kind of spaces going down, and we're turning it into low-cost housing. When I said earlier, be part of the solution, that is what I meant. We're helping the lower LSM, the living standards model, to actually have affordable accommodation. And it comes with numerous benefits that and for us. Now, a is that, that feel-good factor of being able to actually, like I say, be part of the solution, which is fantastic. But as a side benefit, we get loads of tax benefits from the government, and you'll see why that is in a minute. And on top of that, there's going to be a school there. Well, there already is a school there, and they're ramping back up. They've got a government grant. They're an anchor tenant on this property, and that's 500 children um, that is going to the school. So it's kind of becoming a live-work play kind of area or live-work school area, can we say, and we really are getting involved in the solution of this country. It's located in Boxburg Central. Uh, Boxburg is one of those places that is high on the list for rejuvenation. Tuff is investing there. They're investing into this project. There's a lot of rejuvenation projects going on around there. Development phase is going to take roughly 12 months, um, somewhere between 8 and 12 months it'll take. Um, hopefully COVID doesn't really come back and halt that again. That's why there's that bit of a gap there. We've, we've allocated a lot of extra time and a lot of extra budget in case anything does actually go wrong again. Um, in terms of COVID or strikes or anything else that could actually slow us down. We've been overly conservative in this um, to allow for that to happen. Uh, TUF has approved a loan facility of around 15.2, I'm going to call it 15 million rand. I'm not going to go into specific numbers over here for the development. 
And there's an Intuka Fund grant of 2.5 million, and that's due to our partner having a strong B, BBEE status. So again, that is for us just a win-win. We love having the fact that we can actually be contributing all around this deal. The kind of design over here is what it'll look like more or less. Single families, the one units, I'll go into the breakdown now of the one unit, two units in the schools, et cetera. Um, next one. Okay, so that's, you can see a little picture of there, what it looks like at the current, it's all kind of gated off. So the total capital we're looking for is around 3 million Rand. Um, so from each minimum investor is gonna be 100,000 Rand. It'll be a 10% per annum compounded annually. And the repayment will be interest and capital payable at the end of the loan term. The loan period in total is around 30 to 36 months. Again, there's always a, a bit of wiggle room required when doing these kind of deals. You've got a lot of stuff that's happened in construction, a lot of approval processes still to go. Now, the one thing about this deal is that it's on a very tight timeline. Hence, we've actually put this together in a very short amount of time. It came to us last week. We're looking for the funds within about 48 to 72 hours after you've actually signed the loan agreement. Uh, and that's because it's due by August the 11th, so we can actually progress the next phase of this deal. I see there's something in the chat. I'm going to jump over and see if I can handle that. Um, yes, it is indeed from Devron. It is indeed the Slava Village deal. Okay, coming down, next step. Um, in order to actually get on top of that, you have to send us an email or a WhatsApp confirmation. Uh, you'd invest, you sign the loan agreement, and you transfer the funds. Like I said, it's 100,000 Rand. We'll put the email at the end. That's 100,000 Rand at 10% over about 30 to 36 month period. Coming on to the next slide, looking at this. Pre-construction phase, that's where they start to go into all the professional services. Um, it's about 300,000 Rand. We're contributing about 3 million Rand. It's about 16% of it. Tough, like I said, 12.8 million Rand there. The Intuka Fund, 12, uh, 2.58. For a total cost of 17.6, 17.7 million rand. Sounds like a large chunk of change. It is, but when you break it down, a lot of the investment, like we say, is coming from tough. That's over 84% of it coming from tough. Project team, um, it consists of a number of professionals who come from a diverse background. Uh, we've got project managers, cost controllers, architects and lead designers, civil and structural engineers, fire engineers, OHS consultants, we need the full gamut here. Um, this is not a, a lighthearted uh, investment to go into. And we've got the necessary project team in place in order to progress with this deal. Again, we're going to send these slides out for you to review. Some kind of key performance indicators. Um, can you guys hold your questions until the end and put yourself on mute, please? Cool. You just put me on mute, Jock. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, some key performance indicators, which every investor is going to want to ask. Um, two important ones there for me um, is going to be that return on the total investment in year one is 39% and the gross yield of 18%. Those are great indicators. I don't look at anything below 15 16% for a gross yield and then anything less than 25% for an ROI. Uh, so I'm happy with those two numbers. The weighted average cost of the capital are just under 4%, which is, again, a very good number. Internal rate of return at 13%, just over. Fantastic numbers. Uh, the debt service coverage ratio is 1.3 in year one. Again, tough won't fund anything you know, less than 1.5. Um, so we're covering all the bases here. The, the numbers actually speak for themselves. You know, if you're doing any kind of investments, you know they speak for themselves over there. And I don't need to harp on about this. Uh, coming down a little bit, where are we now? Next kind of one over here. Some selling points this property. It is vacant, it's ready to go. We've got a strong BBBEE partner on it. Um, the professional team is necessary and living there. The post development is well located with what I really like is that uh, rapid transport bus, the BRT bus route system, taxi ranks are literally within walking distance opposite the Boxburg municipality. There's close access to all the amenities around. You know, you've got Box to Benoni Hospital, 10 kilometers from the airport. And that's Isando. That's a huge working area with easy public transport access. There'll be no problem with people wanting to live here. Um, projected cash flow. We'll be making cash flow positive from year one onwards. Um, and the borrower is able to meet its operating costs and debt. Uh, 
Let me try that again a little bit more slowly and did obligations quite easily. Uh, even if the vacancies are double what we're projecting, we're projecting around 8% um, vacancy rate. State of readiness, town planning, the portion earmark for the complex is fully zoned and proclaimed, which is a great one. Um, the bulk services are already there. The engineering des uh, designs have confirmed the availability of that and the approved site development plan led to be approved by the city of Boxburg municipality. Uh, the developers wish to put development plan to action on registration of this property. And we're also gonna be providing 20 covered parking bays and potentially 50 additional bays on vacant land next to the building. Now, one of the questions that I originally had for that is low cost housing, people don't generally have their own cars, but as I said earlier, this is very optimally um, located right opposite the Boxburg municipality. Parking is gonna be a requirement. It always is as, these, as, as the rejuvenation starts to come up, especially so. Uh, town plan information, it is already zoned as business one. Um, you can actually go up to 41 stories, we won't be doing that. Um, floor area ratio of one, full on one, which is fantastic. Coverage of 30%. Uh, parking as per the scheme, as we mentioned above, we can actually get an additional 50 bays and start charging for that. It's an additional income earner. Uh, and the building line is five meters along the street boundary, which we're more than further back, further back from. Moving over to Boxburg, I'm not going to go into full details about Boxburg. I've, I've kind of given you an overview there. The biggest one is that location to Isando, the airport, um, easy access in all directions to get in and out. It's a commercial hub. The fact that there's a lot of re, um, redevelopment going on in the area speaks volumes for it. Um, we're close to that airport, like we say, in and out. Um, and the proposed Akulakini University technology will be situated in Boxburg which will be fantastic and kind of helps us in three to five years time if the school doesn't renew on its contract um, it's got a government grant at the present but if it doesn't want to renew going forward that can easily be turned into student accommodation and have already proposed a plan for that uh, unit topology the price structure provides for the construction of 50 affordable residential units and one school already mentioned that before there's going to be 32 one bedroom units and 18 two bedroom units uh, for a total development of 50. So they're between 36 and 45 square meters, low cost condensed housing. Property rental projection, uh, one bedroom is gonna go for about 3,200 a month. Um, on 10 of the units, the next ones will be going for three, nine per month. The two bedrooms are going about four and a half a month. Parking bays at 250 rand a month. We don't see that as a challenge at all. In fact, again, all of these prices we're being very conservative with. And then finally, the schools now up their rate to getting a 75,000 rand a month um, lease with it. A total gross rental of about 280,000 rand a month. Strengths and weaknesses. Um, the developers contributing 30 million of the equity into the projects. So we're contributing some of our own money into this. That's how much we believe in it. You know, we're putting our own money on the line here. Uh, we've got the availability of bulk services. Professional team is highly experienced in this. And we will share more information as we go along. Um, the decrease in the interest rate has been very favorable to almost making this deal work. Uh, it's located well within in amenities, public transport, Boxburg Lake, library, all the amenities are literally right around there. And it's going to assist the city by uh, Boxburg with their housing backlog. I can't remember the exact number of what it was, but it is quite immense. And again, that's, that's the solution we want to be part of, actually resolving that housing backlog. Some weaknesses though, I mean, we have to be honest with ourselves here. The contract has not been appointed just yet. Um, again, we're looking for the cash to invest into that so we can get that one started. Um, the impact of COVID-19, the full impact hasn't been realized as of yet, so it's an unknown. But as you said, we've been really conservative and we don't see it just too much of a challenge, but it is something to identify. And the full productive sector is now under tremendous additional pressure from the coronavirus response measures. Um, again, we've dropped down to what level three now, I think it is. Um, and so work is commencing, schools are commencing. And as the ramp up of the vaccine starts to gain pace, I think the next target is 300,000 people a day so that coronavirus will have less of a pressure on us. But it is still a weakness we have to identify. Looking at the opportunities, rentals in the area could be higher, like we say, I'd rather go conservative. Uh, there is a continued focus on city of Boxburg to improve its surrounding areas. There's a massive cash investment, uh, investment going on in, in Boxburg. Um, sorry, some more questions coming through. It's odd when you get questions on the multiple groups. Um, people are inviting saying, okay, slow down, apologies. 
Uh, job creation during the post and construction phase, we'll be doing a lot of, of that. And the Boxburg Town in the next few months, uh, the university is coming up for proposal, which is less than 30 kilometers, kilometers away. Plan, like we say, in a couple of years, you can easily put a mini bus in that's carrying students back and forth. Um, five billion rand development is being constructed three, but, uh, three kilometers from the site. Again, huge investment going on in Boxburg. Uh, threats. I mean, let's be honest. There's high levels of uh, levels of poverty, and I think before COVID, we're sitting at twenty something percent. That's gone way over thirty percent due to COVID. But at the same time, as we start finishing this in the year time, so it's going to bounce back and bring that unemployment down. Yes, we have been downgraded by Fitch, Moody's, the entire spectrum. But yes, we're still going on. Um, expected of six point five GDP contraction is expected is being realised. We know about that. We're planning for it. Hence, we're being ultra conservative. Um, unforeseen increase in operating costs. Again, we don't know, but we're putting it out there. We've, we've been through this before where in the electricity starts to get um, height. Um, ESCOM always comes up with these surprises. We've planned for things like this. You'll see in the allocation of all the funds that it does actually allocate a lot of extra money to cover additional costs, which we just can't see just yet. Increases in construction costs. That has been going on for quite a while. Still transport labor. This isn't just a, a South African thing. This is globally. All around the world, those are going up in price. Um, who can foresee where they go, where they stop? We don't know. Um, a high vacancy rate. If we hit above 16%, we start to go, okay, that's a little bit high. We're planning for about eight. We've allocated or allowed that it could reach 16. But if it does go above 16, we could start to have some challenges. But again, we've allocated that fat in a lot of this um, and been so conservative that it's there. And when we share the numbers, you'll see all that. Uh, construction delays due to adverse weather, strikes, rioting, whatever else it is. Those are kind of realistic um, kind of risks that we do need to take into, into account. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the, the high level overview of the presentation. Um, I'm going to leave the questions for people who actually want to get involved. I've had a couple of people I see that um, I've already said is not for them. That's fine. I've had a couple of people already say to me that is for them and they would actually like to get into the numbers phase. Um, how do you do that? You send us an email, info at zahomes.co.za. Just put the reference there so we know which one we're talking about. We've got a few going on at the moment, uh, but this is the only one we're looking for in angel investment in Joburg at the moment. Uh, and if you can get that number over to us, that would be great. Um, we can start off a conversation there. Uh